everyone, we are back with Maria, who has a really great project for any age with her DIY, or should we say CIY. That's oh, right. Yes, I'm making one of Crayola's really fun and easy projects from their Create It Yourself, AKA CIY, from their from their video, uh, video network series that you can watch every Friday and get really great projects. You can cool. do it by following uh, their Facebook and their Instagram, and it's so much fun. And you can see what I have over sure. here today. So these are DIY canvas word art. And they're beautiful. There's they really a mix are. of colors, and the lettering is so much fun. We have a reach for the stars, sort of a galaxy type of theme we over there. Saying, I, I mean, was just saying, I would love this. I and dropped off Alexandra at camp this morning, and they were doing this exact exactly. thing. Exactly. Exactly. Kids things. are going to love this. Yeah. Kids would love yeah. it, and the you're beautiful, I love the affirmation. Our, this is a sort of like hat of the tip of the hat to our hair and makeup team here, because they have those on the mirror that says you're beautiful. Yeah. And the dream big. I did this with Grant, just so you, you were saying Alexandra yeah. would love to do this. I did this with Grant. Oh, this was our Friday cutie. night exploration. And he had so much fun seeing, the, seeing this whole process happen. And this is great for any age. So if yeah. you have a desk that you're at every day, yeah. and you want that constant it's super inspiration, fun. or kids, Grant is starting yeah. school. <laughs> in the fall. I like and that I just she had think to get it's, support like, before she right, said no, that out loud. No, 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 but he's already yeah, been in preschool, he's so it's fine. not, I mean, he's already been there. Yeah. It's but just it's, another place. It's going to be okay. I'll hold it's it. It's going to be okay. And, but it's I a promise. great thing for them to see. Yeah, and it's a, it really they, is. But they've made it, so it's a great thing for them to well, do. Well, let's dive in and find out how we do oh, this. Okay, yes. what materials do we need to get started? Okay, so you definitely want your paint. So over here, I have a bunch of Crayola fun paint in the different colors. So there's neon, there's the classic color, the metallic that I love, and of course glitter, because we can't live without glitter. Of course. And so you can see them all over here and the super tip markers right. uh, for the right. lettering. I love And those that's what's really fun and especially kids who are starting the writing, yeah. they can use those and they can really like it. And also the canvas, for the canvas we have over here, you want to get um, some of the contact paper. Right. And that's right. what's going to create your sure. shape. Sure, of course. Okay. Well, you, you, good, good, good. you did one thematically for Christmas in July. Yes, I did. So you can see that's what where we're going with this. I'm going to show you how I made it. Let's but you can, started. but you see how this is what we're going to create. See the mix of colors yeah. like we have for our galaxy one so it's really creating that marbling effect with a mix of all these different colors. that's what I'm dying to like find out how you do it like that whole marble effect that looks so cool so I you want to work on a covered surface is what I have right here and this I just did a circle because I thought I could make it into an ornament yeah. Cute. so the sticky part obviously goes down this is the contact paper goes down here and this is just a canvas you can go to any craft supply store and get these you can do in a number of different sizes so I have my paint here you I did I wanted to go with like a candy cane type of theme. Like, like I said, Christmas in July. Good. So I have my white and then the different colors of red. So I have the glitter. Then this is the kind of classic red and this is the metallic red. So what I did for these, you add a little bit of water because you want to loosen it up a bit to mix it all together. I have to be honest with you, I'm a huge fan of the Crayola paints. Huge fan. I yes. get these for Alexandra all the time. Um, one of my the reasons I am is because they wash out of the clothes. Yeah. Exactly. Right, of course. I mean, I like. That's like. She comes home and I'll be like, oh, was that washable paint? And a lot of times it's not from camp. But at home we have all the washable crayons. And paints. that will make your life yes. so, so much easier. Me? Oh I mean, my it's, gosh. It's, a, it's an essential. Yes. And so what you're looking for is that you want it to be able to pour, like you can see here. You don't want, you want it to be like a little. You, you want it to mix together. So, Got it, right. So yeah. a little bit, a little well, bit let me uh, show you. more so liquid is, than normal. Exactly, a little bit more liquidy than normal. So what you want to do, I have my, my bigger cup here. Okay. All right. Now it looks like it's just going to, it's going to be a surprise. Okay, ready? It's okay, the color just of your pour dress. it in there. So far, I got this. Okay. It matches your dress, not so Don't much mix. anymore. Don't just mix. Just pour. Just pour. Okay. Don't mix. Just oh, the glitter is Okay. And okay. Last you see one. how there's that, there's that subtle separation all in there. Right. Yeah. Keeping all the different um, textures. Wait for it. And so now that you've got all your colors and poured and mixed one. in there, or not mixed, but poured in there. Yes. How? What about the actual uh, application with the paint? Are we ready? What do we do? Oh, this is cool. Are we okay. ready? So you're just going to pour it out? That's It's it's as simple as that. <gasps> oh, and then watch. People. This is what you do. So you definitely need the wax paper underneath. Yes. Or something, yeah. because they're going to make a huge mess. But oh look at how gosh. beautiful that is. Oh that is so good. What? This isn't just for look at, kids. Look at, look at exactly. the Exactly. It's for every is. age. For me. And you just kind of swirl it around oh. until you get it all how covered. How badly do you want to try this right now? I want to do it. I know, don't you? I it's got that sort of canvas. sense about it. For like sure. a really huge oh, canvas. Isn't like that beautiful? It's really great. And you just kind of swirl it around until everything is covered. Otherwise, Otherwise, I mean, it would be so hard to achieve that kind of... Marbling. I don't think yeah. you'd be able to do it, really. Isn't that beautiful? So how long does this need to dry? 
you want to let it dry overnight because you're using sure. a lot of paint, so yeah. you definitely want to let it dry overnight. Okay. And since we're, you know, Christmas in July, you can put it outside and it'll dry a little bit faster. So oh, final touches. Final, what a, oh, go how ahead. How do I get the thing off? Well, here we go. Well, here we go. So you can see over here, this is what's going to happen over time. It's going to start, like, coming off and drying. On its own. As it's it's drying, drying, and the this contact is just, paper will The contact paper will come Got it. Yes. Yeah, so we can see, you can see a little bit come, might come underneath, but just use your white paint. And you, you know what around. I mean? Go ahead. Oh, the, another little tip, uh, too. If you want to add a little bit of uh, like speckles on there, you can dip this and just kind of do it. Go oh, nice. Oh, Debbie steps back. It. I love that. <laughs> it'll, don't worry, it'll come out of your clothes. This one so be, yeah. what you can do here That's is you can, this is where you can use uh, the super tip, super tip markers and put these on here. You can do a tip for this I can't stop. is I can't stop. right fine. with a pencil okay. first. Make sure your scale's right and the letters exactly. all fit the way you want it to. Okay, well, so, if you don't want to freehand advice. because your handwriting isn't as good as yours. Exactly. And what, yes, I love this. Okay, so stencil, there we yeah, go. I'm assuming. And you could you could use a stencil, yes. But this is a great time to like work on your lettering. These are great for like, you know, the faux calligraphy or anything like oh, that. Oh sure, so, yeah, bubble the, letters. The lettering. Just put it in you there. You do that. Just like so. It was a joyful you can go Christmas in. treat. And another thing you can do too, if you wanted to, is to make it. Uh, and I would go in and obviously like make customize it, it a little sure. bit more. But what else you can do is make it into a little ornament. So I have my yellow here, and you can just continue to add any kind of Wait, detailing you want. Yeah, turn so it can yes. see while you paint. I thought you were going to get in there and start kind of decorating. I am. I'm, <laughs> yeah. I thought you were I'm totally say, taking over. I thought you were going to so take over there. You just you can't stop yourself. Bit, oh, there you, you go. Know? To make a little top to the ornament. Yeah, a little top. It's adorable, Maria. Top there. Oh, how fun is that for the kids? I yeah. love this. Yeah, the kids are going to love it. This it's so doable. Maria. Little you and, bring us uh, joy. All of these materials. So fantastic. For full instructions, uh, everyone so on this cute. project, visit hallmarkchannel.com.